Good evening, Hyperspinners. Today we're going to be talking through Rocket Launcher's Fade In assets, their animated GIFs, loading screens, backgrounds, uh, you name it. So get ready. So first things first, uh, you guys are probably like, what did he just say? And uh, I'll, I'll just show you guys. So when I launch a system, there is a loading screen that happens. Uh, it's called the fade in. And uh, you know, if you've got seven zip uh, extraction allowed for your system, you'll also see a loading bar. And if you've got a uh, basically a handful of PNG files, uh, it'll basically cycle through those. So uh, you could get creative by using uh, sprites and uh, smashing them together basically. And uh, you'll see something that looks like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, launch this. This is the default uh, fade that I have for uh, NES. So here we go. So you see Mega Man there, he's uh, doing his running, uh, you know, that we all love there. So. That's uh, what we're trying to accomplish here. So I'm going to go ahead and play it again because it is a, a quick one here. So there you have it. And uh, Rocket Launcher uh, Media uh, is really popular when it uh, comes to the author. Uh, well, not the author, but uh, Retro Humanoid. He focuses a lot on the uh, Rocket Launcher uh, art so like we're talking pause we're talking uh, uh, fade ins uh, marquees uh, you name it so he, he you know he, he does a great job and a lot of those uh, assets that you s just saw uh, the wheel in the top left uh, was created by retro humanoid and the sprite itself was also created by retro humanoid uh, but it's extremely easy to do guys uh, no discredit to uh you know retro humanoid at all because he's doing excellent work and i hope he uh, continues so um i'm here to kind of talk you through it because uh i also have a uh, someone someone uh who's going to be possibly creating uh these loading uh screens so, so, you know, basically that mega man running sort of thing so um this person that uh who's going to be making these uh you know, I, I don't want to give out his name or her name uh, quite yet, just because, you know, it hasn't started yet. So, uh, but trust me, guys, when he does start, it's going to be amazing, I'm sure. So, um, so let's get started here. So when I'm in uh, Rocket Launcher UI, uh, I'm just going to go to global up here. And we are going to go to the settings tab and the fade general tab. So the location of... Uh, where your animation uh, occurs is gonna be deciding on you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down to the bottom of this fade general. Uh, if you don't want uh, this loading uh, animation to be defaulted across all systems, you can obviously change that in each system particularly, but I'm gonna go and scroll down to fade general under the global settings. And I'm gonna go all the way down where it says animated uh, image. You see, if I scroll over the eye, you see that layer four uh, basically has a couple options. I chose the top right uh, corner of the fade in, and then I've got these uh, coordinates, the X and Y. So you'll have to play with that, but it, it tells you uh, exactly what we're talking about here. You'll just play with those numbers until it gets right. And uh, the animation speed, uh, 50 seems to be pretty good for me. Uh, you know but you can tweak that that's how fast uh he would run essentially and uh yep everything else uh is good to go it's just changing the location of your animation so when i go down to nintendo here and if i go down to animated image you see everything's set to global if i wanted to kind of play around with that so it's a little different placement for this particular system i could just you know basically select uh, everything and type everything in so it would be unique so that's all you've got to do in rocket launcher ui and now i'm going to show you in 
uh, the rocket launcher media folder. So I've got this in uh, my hyperspin root folder, which you may or may not have rocket launcher in your root folder. So uh, just look for your rocket launcher folder and uh, select media, fade, and then the system. Uh, I'm going to back up so you can see the fades here. So uh, if you want a default for all your systems when they don't show up, you could create a underscore default folder. And then you could see the animation that I've got for, uh, you know, when there isn't a custom uh, layer four. So what's uh, special here is you want layer four and then the number. So that's the sprite. So you can see all those are layer fours. And then it, what it does is it cycles through one, two, three, four, five, six, and it just repeats after that. So that's the naming convention that, that you'll want. And I'm going to go ahead and go to the Nintendo uh, fade screen here. So there's Nintendo. And when I click default, you're going to see Mega Man running here. Uh, so I've got Mega Man uh, layer four, one, through six and you know the more sprites you have the smoother obviously the animation is going to look like and also you guys might have noticed the now loading screen um, basically how you can do that is if you have an extra layer three uh, dash shadow so that's sort of the uh, when it hasn't loaded quite yet and then as it loads, it'll go left to right, and then it'll fill in with the, um, you know, the darker red. So uh, that's layer three, where the now loading you can kind of play with, and uh, layer four is going to be your animated GIFs. You're also going to notice that when I close out of a uh, system, so when I quit the game, it's going to show a uh, layer negative one screen, and that is the sort of exit screen, if you will. Uh, also, uh, this I, uh, since I'm here, I might as well talk through each one of these layers, guys. Sorry. Um, the extra layer one uh, dash council. This is essentially when you uh, first start a game. Uh, this is going to be the, uh, the screen or the, the image that sits on top of your background. And your layer one is going to be your background. So if you think of this as sort of a sandwich, if you will, the uh, layer one is your background. It's the very lowest of the uh, sandwich. And then on top of that, uh, your extra layer one dash council is going to be sort of your, you know, your lettuce or something. Uh, <laughs> and then your uh, now loading screen, your uh, layer three shadow and layer three uh, is going to sit on top of the council image. And then after that, it's your layer four, which is going to show your animation. And, uh, you know, I don't think I have any layer twos, but, you know, obviously that would sit right on top of your, uh, your council. So it would kind of look funny if you had that, but maybe there's good examples of, you know, using a layer two. And then your layer negative one is your exit screen. So that's the gist of uh, the animations and actually just fades in general uh so yeah that's that's it i hope you guys uh start making them and start posting uh the the stuff that you guys make uh because there's a lot you know that needs to be done and uh you know all these systems have defaults uh for loading but it would be cool to have a lot of uh game specific ones so let's go to uh i don't know let's say legend let's uh, legends of zelda and uh, you can see I, I've got a background here, layer one, and then I think this was also created by uh, Retro Humanoid, uh, but you can see uh, layer four, we basically have 22 different sprites here. So this is gonna be a lot smoother, and uh, uh, yeah, that's, you know, that, that's all there is to it here. So, um, you know, let, let's, let's look at this, actually. This is Legends of Zelda Rev A. I'm going to go ahead and open that and uh, let's uh, take a look at it. Legends of Zelda. And let's see. Yeah, it's not going to play there. So what I'm trying to get at here is this uh, Legends of Zelda's uh, A. 
what we need to do is also name this to be exactly what the game name is. Otherwise, it won't actually play there. So there you have it, work in progress. We're changing that to Legends of Zelda, and that is the USA that's going to work there. All that is good there. We've got all the different layers. And this is a perfect example for you guys, so you guys can uh, make sure everything's running for you guys. The, the folder name has to match the, the actual game name. So I'm going to go ahead and launch this now, uh, this loading screen. There you go. Beautiful. And then it's going to close it out. And there you go. And you guys can test your loading screens by just clicking this little uh, monitor icon, it looks like. It's called, uh, well, it says launch non 7 z Fade uh, screen. If you want to see the loading screen, uh, you can press the Launch 7Z Fade screen. So these two are the buttons. So I'm going to go and press the uh, other one that shows the loading. So there you go. Man, that looks good. Um, so that's it, guys. Um, in terms of where you get these uh, sprites, you can just Google. Uh, I typed in Mega Man NES sprites, and you can see the first one here. And what you would do is uh, just copy and pull up your favorite uh, editor. I've got paint.net. Uh, you can see there's your sprites here. Uh, I'm gonna zoom in here so you can see them better. Uh, but essentially you're just taking a number of these sprites and uh, you're basically just saving those files. So I think it was, well, I didn't make these, but I'm going to guess that uh, retro humanoid grabbed. Well, let's let's see. He just grabbed those uh, few, and he might have reversed them. Um, I mean, you, you can get fancy in any of these. It's relatively easy. So it looks like one, two, three. Um, oh, and something that I've done personally um, is, you know, you can double up on these layers. So he might have just included, and you know, I apologize, retro humanoid. Uh, I, I can't remember if I did this or not, but I, I know I've done this with other examples of uh, things that I've done um, or have found from others. Um, so if if the animation wasn't 100% smooth, so you can see there's a repeat here. So this is, here, let's see here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, this one, this one's totally clean. So there's some times where I will, uh, kind of repeat these animations so like if, it, if it's too short and I wanted uh, you know things to look smoother you could just copy uh, your sprites and double up on them uh, but that's not the case here but you can see here there, there's some sprites here it looks like maybe this one and this one this one these first three or middle three there um, was used but uh, you guys kind of have to just kind of search through the net uh, you're bound to find them I mean I just typed in Mega Man and look at all these sprites. I mean, they're everywhere. Um, so yeah, that's that's how you guys make them. And uh, I want to see what you guys make. So uh, good luck and uh, we'll catch you next time.